Hello everybody, how are you? I hope you're okay. Let's go on to your class book, page number 86. We're going to talk about relative clauses with the word who, which refers to a person, and the word where, which refers to a place. So here we've got a dentist, which is a person. So a dentist is a person who works in a clinic. Here we've got a hairdresser. So a hairdresser is a person who works in a salon. Here we've got a carpenter, and a carpenter is a person who works in a workshop. Here we've got a teacher, and a teacher is a person who works in a school. Very good. So let's see some other examples. Where is used for referring to a place. So here we've got a garage. So a garage is a place where a mechanic works. Let's see some examples. Here we've got a kitchen. So a kitchen is a place where a chef works. Here we've got an office. So, for example, an office is a place where a lawyer works. Here we've got another place. This is a salon. So, a salon is a place where a hairdresser works. Let's remember then. It's very easy. We say who when we talk about people and we say where when we talk about places. Let's see some other examples and then I want you to do more at home. Here we've got a waiter. So this is a person. So we have to use where or who. Who, very good. A waiter is a person who works in a restaurant. We use who because a waiter is a person. Here we've got a restaurant. So shall we use the word who or where? Where, very good, because we are talking about a place. A restaurant is a place where a waiter works. Words such as nurse, dentist, vet, artist or driver refer to a person. So we need to use who when talking about it. The words salon, clinic, school, hospital, workshop, etc. refer to a place. So we need to use the word where. It's very easy, isn't it? So let's do some other sentences at home. I hope you enjoyed. See you soon. Bye-bye.